may nagapray pa. Amen. Pwede natin palapakan si Lord. Let's give God the loudest clap offering. Woo! Amen. Praise God. We have the opportunity to minister personally sa ating mga kapatiran. Mas magbuti talaga siguro, no? O yung nasa taas, di kayo na pagpray dyan. Mas mabuti yung we can ano, be ministered, mapag-pray tayo personally. Do you agree with me na, na okay masyado na mapag-pray tayo ng ating mga ministers, mga leader, leaders? Can you say amen? Amen. Okay. Sige, once again, let's praise God. How many of you are excited to worship the Lord today? Woo! Yan ang gusto ni Lord. Sabihan mong katabi mo. Walang matutulog sa hapon na ito. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Sige. Sanang scripture natin for today. Can we have the scripture? Basahin natin ang word ni Lord. Okay. Sige. Can we all be standing? Tayo, tayo. Basahin natin ang word ni Lord for us today. At as we read the scriptures... Pray talaga tayo, Lord. Bigyan mo talaga kami ng wisdom of revelation and understanding. Kasi on our own, di natin ito maiintindihan. I pray na lahat tayo dito, andito because we need God's Word. Amen? Amen. Okay, let's read Matthew 24, 6-7. Ready, go. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not alarmed, afraid, troubled, terrified, for this must take place. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. Napa? Okay, pray tayo. Our great God, powerful, and yet, a very loving God. We stand before you, Lord. We stand in awe of your greatness. We stand in awe of your amazing love. We stand in awe because of who you are, Father. Lord, I pray na lahat ng nakatayo dito ngayon, we are here with this purpose and that is to worship you in spirit and in truth, O oh God. Na hindi namin makakalimutan that we are standing before a holy, majestic God in heaven. When we are standing, even when we are seated, we will be mindful. Andito kami not to do anything. Wala kami mga iniisip na iba. No distractions, but to worship you, to praise you, to glorify the name of our God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Lord, ayaw namin ang aming worship. Hindi mo tanggapin. Our desire is for our worship to be pleasing to you. Hindi lang sa pag-awit, Hindi lang sa pagsayaw, hindi lang sa pagtugtog, Lord God. But Lord, let our hearts have that heart of worship to you, O oh God. Worship, worship the living God. And Lord, I pray na sa pag namin, we will focus on your word. We cancel the attack or the assignment of the enemy upon each one. We cancel the attempt of the enemy na nakawin ang yung word, oh God. 
And I declare that your word will be God changing our hearts, changing us inside out. And we get out of that place, of this place, never the same again, oh God. Thank you, Father. Oh God, more than anything, we desire to please you. We desire to love you. We desire to serve you with all that we are. Father, we offer to you our lives. And we lift up to you our country, our president, and all the government officials, all the authorities that you have placed in our hearts, in our lives. Pray for all pastors preaching on the pulpit, all pastors preaching the pure word of the gospel. Oh God, let your anointing flow. And I declare blessing upon blessing upon every family represented here right now oh God Lord salamat for your protection salamat sa iyong preservation sa aming mga buhay oh God salamat Lord sa prosperity na hindi lang about money ang prosperity but it's about enjoying all the spiritual blessings available sa lahat ng mga anak mo. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We honor you. In Jesus' name, everybody will agree and say, Amen. Palapakanan si Lord. Amen. Are you ready to sing a new song to the Lord? Pwede ba nating i-worship si Jesus with all of our hearts, with all of our strength? Amen? From the bottom of our lungs, let's shout hallelujah in one, two, three. Hallelujah! Everyone, clap your hands. There's a light that shines with hope and grace fills the sky With your mercy each day we're alive Let your glory pour out Jesus There's a joy that overwhelms our souls Cause we know our God is in control Overflow, let your favor pour out There's a joy that overwhelms our souls Cause we know our God is in control Overflow, let your favor pour out Jesus, Jesus This is the day that the Lord has made We will rejoice and be glad in it Behind what happened yesterday Cause today there's a new thing happening Leave behind what happened yesterday Cause today there's a good thing happening Leave behind what happened yesterday Cause today there's a good thing happening
this a new thing happening Leave behind what happened yesterday Cause today there's a good thing happening Leave behind what happened yesterday Cause today there's a new thing happening Leave behind what happened yesterday Cause today there's a good thing happening Here we go!
overhead Bold and confident And we we'll say Taking every step In ourselves before you oh God make our hearts more hungry for more of you Lord oh worthy is your name Lord Jesus you deserve our praises and worship there's no one like you Lord you alone is our Savior and our coming King All together, let's sing this. Oh, blessed Lamb, once slain, will reign forevermore. His hands once bound.
All together, let's sing this again. He is Lord. He is Lord. Oh, He is Lord. Who saves my soul. He is the Lord. And He lives. He lives. He lives. He lives. Father, thank you for this truth, O God, that you're coming back again. And Lord, let every word of my mouth, O God, and the meditation of my heart be acceptable, O God, to you. We cancel every spirit that is not from you today, Father. And let your words, O God, penetrate, Lord, every need of our hearts, of the hearts of your people today. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Good morning, everyone. God bless us all. And thank you. Pasalamatan natin si Lord because once again, we are here in this place to worship Him and lift His name on high. Tingnan niyo mga katabi niyo. Oh, sabi. Sabihin niyo. Ang ganda nyo ngayon. Uh, ang gaganda nyo at ang gwagwapo nyo ngayon. Okay, I am Pastor Loloy. I am one of the leaders of this church. No, isa ako sa mga, sa mga 12 ni Toro. And our new friends, saan ba kayo? Saan kayo? Nandyan ba kayo? Our new friends, taas-taas ang mga kamay nyo. Okay? Huwag na kayo magpapilit. Andito na kayo eh. <laughs> Can you raise up your hands? You are new friends. Are you there? Nandiyan ba kayo? Oh, nandiyan. Sige, palakpakan natin. Medyo kambihan na siguro na ako niya kung eyeglasses, no? <laughs> okay? So, today, are we now prepared to, to hear another word from our God? No, we are in a series, no? Living in the last days. Are you now Ready? No, kay sabi ka na, are you he's coming back again but are you ready? Di ba yun yung una? Okay? At ang pangalawa last Sunday, ayo nga pala, no? Gusto ko talagang uh, uh, anong tawag nito? I congratulate ang ating mga mothers, mga beautiful mothers last Sunday. Nag-celebrate tayo ng Mother's Day, di ba? Oy, bakit kun- kunti lang palakpak? <laughs> 
ang ating mga nagagandahang mga mothers. Okay? Tsaka nung, nung tumayo na sila dito, kukunti na lang naiwan sa upuan. So mas marami talaga mga mothers, no? Mga ilaw ng tahanan. ba? Diba? Saan ba ang mga fathers? Baka nagbayad pa ng ilaw. <laughs> okay? So, uh, our mothers really, no? Sila po, no? Ang ating mga nagpapaliwanag sa ating mga tahanan. Okay? Tayo daw, di ba? Sa CCFI, ang mga fathers, mag-celebrate din kami, no? Kami daw itong mga buutan. Di ba? Wala iya, mga fathers. Alam niyo ba ang meaning ng, ng buutan? Ha? Buutan man na, buutan lang may tanawon. No? Kung sa Tagalog, Okay, ano ba sa Tagalog? Mabait kami tingnan. Kung sa English, ano? We are good looking. Palakpakan natin si Lord. So ang buot, pasabot sa buotan ka ron, ano? Good looking. So ingnay mong ba na? Napakabuutan mo ba? Oh, ingna. Oh, yan na ang buot, pasabot ka ron. So magready na ta mga fathers during our fathers Day. So, living in the last days, balik na ta. No? The last days of our lives. Diba? Nung ano, uh, living like we are in the last days of our lives. So, ang sabi doon, be faithful even unto death. Grabe, no? Ganyan talaga ang word ni Lord. Faithfulness ang kailangan because we are living in the last days. Mayroong kantang nag, ano, I'm gonna live my life. Di ba? Alam niyo yan? Huwag yung sabihin, hindi niyo alam yan. Like, every day is the last. Na, naisip ba natin yan? Okay? Na, na andito na tayo sa, sabi nga, malapit na po. No? Ang katapusan, hindi natin sinasabi-sabi lang yan. Sabi yan ng, ng Bible. Okay? So, I know that God's Word has been planted now in our hearts and in our lives. So we are now ready and then we are faithful. And then today we will be talking about being vigilant. Vigilant. Okay? So we call vigilance is the key. Okay? Our text is found in, binasa na kanina ni Torah, no? Matthew 24.6 Okay? Binasa na natin isa at saka mayroon pang uh, another text na babasahin ko ngayon. Okay? Babasahin ko na lang. You will Saan dito? Ay ko eh. Ay ko. 1 Timothy 4.1 Nandiyan ba? 1 Timothy 4.1 Okay, ang sabi. But the Spirit said expressly in the latter times Some shall fall away from faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. You see? Napakaano na mga warning talaga ang sinasabi dito. We are in the last days. So vigilant, anong ibig sabihin ng vigilant? Ang sabi ni, ng dictionary, big sabihin, alertly watchful, especially to avoid Danger. Are we vigilant? Di ba? Di ba? Sa gabi, sa mga bahay-bahay natin, vigilant tayo. Baka manakawan tayo. And then, ang mga synonyms nito is alert, attentive, awake, observant, and open-eyed. Di ba? Masigahon yun nato atong mga mata, aron makita nato, no? Ang mga dilima yung panghitabo. Okay? Ang antonyms din pala nito is, of course, <laughs> asleep. O dili gani ka vigilant no in that, during that moment eh itulog ka talaga. Di ba? So may isang write up ang sabi 10 ways to stay vigilant in this uncertain world. Mm, ang dami no ang daming mga paagi daw pala no. Ang ang sabi it gives warning what to do and what not to do in cases of terror attacks. 
you see, international yung, yung write-up na ito. Kasi terror eh. Of course, we also need to be concerned about it, di ba? Okay? Our world is becoming unsafe. Right? Kaya, kailangan maging vigilant tayo. Ang sabi nga now sa UN, ano, ito daw ang new era of conflict and violence. Ganyan po ang nangyayari sa ating mundo ngayon. Okay? Look at Ukraine. Look at Sudan. Ano pa ba ang may mga conflict ngayon? At wag na tayong lumayo pa. Okay? Wag na tayong lumayo. Look at our Taiwan, our neighboring country. Tingnan natin ang the West Philippine Sea. Hindi lang natin nararamdaman. But you know what? Napaka-tensionado po sa mga territories natin ngayon. Okay? There's a high tension in our area of responsibility. Hindi lang bagyo ang nasa area of responsibility natin. Ang sabi, ang sabi ka na, that it's the new era of conflict. Takot ba tayo dyan? Okay? So the nature of conflict daw and violence, okay, although, hindi na masyadong uh, tulad nung 75 years ago. Pero, ang humisay daw are becoming more frequent. Okay? And then, gender-based attacks. Di ba? Pag Pagbabae ka, mahina ka daw, ang sabi na, you are weak. Okay? Or pag nakita ka lang naglalakad na very lousy, di ba? You will be attacked. And then, global daw ang development dito. Even in interpersonal violence, including violence against children. Rampant na talaga. So, meron ding mga technological advances. No? Nag-concern ngayon. Diba, mayroong mga cyber attacks? It's the weaponization of the bots. Tingala ko, unsan yung bots? Kabalo, unsan yung mga bots? Robots. Hindi <laughs> tamad lang siguro o pronounce. No, yung mga robots daw natin, it's armed with cameras. At saka, yung iba pa daw ngayon, may mga sariling brains na. Yung mga robots. Okay? What is sad that it can also be used for malicious purposes. Di ba yung mga, yung sa Senate natin ngayon, uh, ano na nila yung mga artificial intelligence? Di ba yung mga tao, nawawalan halos na ng mga, ang concern nila, nawawalan ha, na halos ng mga trabaho. It's because of these bots. No? Okay? So may mga drones na ginagamit ng mga extremist attacks. Okay? So, Ang sabi, the international cooperation is under strain. Despite of this, no, napakaraming uh, conflicting, no, mga, uh, mga conflicts na ngayon, maraming uh, kaguluhan, hindi magagandang nangyayari sa ating mundo, merong diminishing global potential for prevention and resolution of conflict and violence in all forms. It's, it's sad. Diba? Uh, don't you know? Or ano ba? Signs na ba talaga of the last days? Okay? So speaking of technological advances, alam niyo ba, may nabasa ako, na yung mga Japanese, Japanese men daw, they prefer <laughs> robots na daw yung mga asawa nila ngayon. Narinig niyo yan? Ano nabasa niyo ba yan? Ha? Diba? Yan ang mga technological advances. Why? Robots daw, no? Para daw, ang reason nila, karamihan, less ang stress. Bakit? Nakaka-stress ba yung mga asawa natin? Ha? Diba? They are God. Diba? Binigay ng Panginoon. Oh, sino nagya? Kasuhan natin yan. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> Pero yun ang sabi nila. No? Siguro, if they will... Ang delikado kung mga anak sila, mga robots din. No? Pag, pag anak, moha, moha. Di ba? Ganyan mga robots eh. Pa, pa. Ano na ang atong kalibutan? No? Happy to you, balik si Lord. <clears throat> okay? It's really in the last days na. 
But thanks God that dito sa atin, no, dili kahit ako concern, ana. Kanang mga advance kayo ang ato, ano, sa mga simple lang ang sa Philippines, mga pang beauty lang, karamihan, mga advance, no, sa mga technologies. Okay? Okay na sa atin, ang mga, ang hair natin, rebanded. Di ba? Oh, tawa agad si Tora, no, kayo sunod sa kanya yun, no. No? Ang kilay, renovated. Okay, approved. Okay, ang pilok, extended. <laughs> Di ba, inga na lang sa ato kung, kung okay na taana, tanan. No? Pero ang utang, stranded. <laughs> Ay, nako. Okay? O, oh, balik ta. Sige, sige tagkawalaan eh. So, mga advanced technologies, no? So, we are really living in the last days. But you know, God, through His Word, ay hindi nagkulang ng reminder sa atin. Amen ba? So, today we will be warned to be watchful and to be vigilant. Merong sinabi dito, watchfulness clearly entails or involve watching prophesied world events unfold before Christ's return as well as living godly lives. So Matthew 4.26, binasa na natin yan. Okay? And you will hear rumors, rumors of wars. Okay? But see to it that you will not be alarmed. No, hindi tayo ma-alarm yan. Alam na natin yan. Nations will rise against nations. Naririnig na natin yan. Kingdoms against kingdoms. Okay? But what does is it mean now sa atin? Sinabi na ng Bible that you should be vigilant. Pero anong ibig sabihin ng vigilant? What do you mean by vigilant? What does it mean? Okay? So to be vigilant means, means keeping careful watch for possible danger or difficulties. So for Christians, spiritual vigilance means we are not concerned for danger in the physical realm lang. Okay? Of course, we should be concerned. Di ba? But we should also keep watch for danger in the spiritual spiritual realm. Wala bang amen dyan? Amen? So, it is important, no? It is for to be spiritually vigilant because it, it allows us, us to walk Okay? In our earthly journey with wisdom for when evil is near. But how near is near now? Ang sabi ng napakalapit na. The word of Bible is constantly warning us napakarami. Okay? Na ng mga warnings ngayon na nangyayari. Di ba init na takay karon? Yeah. Kaya yung mga Yung mga borders ko, uh, sabi nila, bakit, bakit pastor ang tataas ng kuryente namin? No, alam, siyempre, whole day, whole night, di ba? Naga, ano, naga aircon. May question ako, are we vigilant right now? Are we watchful of what, what's happening? Or aminin natin that sometimes, mas vigilant pa tayo sa mga post natin sa FB. Every morning, tingnan yung post sa FB. Unsa man niya ako ang amigo, oy, wa may reaction. Di ba? Aminin, kayo sa taas dyan. <laughs> okay? Every day, every morning, kinsay, kinsay guilty, tananta. Di ba? So we keep watch, no? Sa mga likes, Diyo, na ito'y mag-asawa, nag-away. Nga no, nga no daw si Kumari, heart daw ang iyang reaksyon sa kanya, like lang. So, si Gigtan Augyo sa iyang, iyang post. No? So, our enemy wants us just to be relaxed. Carefree. No, no worries, no trouble. No? So, irresponsible ta. Okay? Sometimes, no? Mo apil pa tag sigig sayaw sayaw no og ting tong ting tang tang ting di ba yung anang sikat karon no kabaluhan na nga sayaw 
Ang atong mga dancer, kabalo mo, ana? Okay? Oh, you see, ayaw mo kuan niya. Kabalo mo, ana, nga kanta. Okay? But you know what? Ano na, tinginan ko ba? Nga naman nga kani, mga, ang mga ano sa, sa FB, sa YouTube, million, million man ang mga, ang mga views. No, maganda rin pala kasi ang ano, ang meaning niyan. No, inakot sa mani, ay, nagayon, mga, ting, 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 tang, ting, 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 ano. Bakit, dakpa, pa rin mga, mga mama, nagasayaw-sayaw, ing, ana. Kasi, ang meaning din pala niyan, ah, into, first time I see you, I know I see love. Maganda rin pala ang meaning, di ba? No, and then, yung ting, tang, tang, la, 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 love you. Okay, ganyan pala. So, the first time I see you, I see love. So, yung na yung tapad, ting, tang, ting, tang, tang. Sige na. Kaya di ba yun siya, la, la, love you, man. <laughs> Pero, dugang yung, ting, tong, ting, tang, 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 in the Lord. I love you in the Lord. Sige, so, kamong mga nangligaw pa karon, sa sa'yo na lang kayo mangligaw. So, ang inyong kiri, Kiligawan, anak-anak -ana lang. Ting tong, ting ting tang tang. Kabalo na siya anak. Okay? Pero dili ta mag niya, no? Padayon ta. Kay ka na, muratag na wala. Dili man dautan ang magsayaw, di ba? Di ba, nagay tayo ato mga sayaw. Musayaw sa kalipay. Ano to sayaw, di ba mga Christians? Diha sa ginoo. Di ba? Okay? So, the Bible warns us to keep what's. But the world wants us to just watch. Okay? Ja, wala kang ginagawa. Okay? Our enemy, no, kinsa na atong kaaway, the devil does not want us to accomplish the will of God. He wants us to, to distract us. He wants to distract us, okay? And get us off course from our true mission. Ano ba ang true mission natin? Ano ba ang vision natin? Okay? And that is to win souls and make disciples. Okay? To make disciples the nations for Christ. Ganyan po. Okay? We should have a sharp eyes no, about the devil's game. Para sa atin ngayon, we do not only okay, keep watch sa mga, mga trivial na mga butang. We keep watch of what's happening and we continue to do the vision in winning souls for the Lord. Wala bang amen dyan? Kaya ang sabi nga ng ano, 1 Peter 5.8, Be sober. No? Ang sabi, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is like a roaring lion. No? Sige, suri suroy Seeking whom? Itong mga dili watchful. Itong yang idivar. Di ba? So, let us be. Yan ang talagang message natin ngayon. As believers, we are called to be on guard so that You don't become a meal. No? Ang sabi diri meal. Kakain kasi devour eh. Meal to the enemy. So the key to vigilance is creating a habit of watchfulness. Amen ba? Kuminsan, ngayon kasi yung mga watchful, no? yung klase ng watchfulness natin, iba. No? Nagabantay lang ta sa atong mga silingan. Di ba? Ang mga mga watchful ba ka ron kung makitan o ka sa FB, mga lalaki na. No? Di ba na alay magtawag hello pre. Kaila ka kang agata? No? So nangutan na lang nakaila kang agata. Ah siya man na tong elementary fail, di man ang uyab. No? Unya pre, naka pati sa elementary, no? Atong nahitabo sa ila sa elementary. Nahita po, ang nakakunta na, niya, nauyab na, ukong doktor, ha, daga na kay Gisong Paul Sotili. Niya, yun siya, unsa man da ay pre? Ingon iyang kumpare, imbitahon manunta na mo ka sa among kasal pre. Kahilak kong giyo din taong tong nagtawag sa pikas linya. Lalaki pa, Jude. Dili, dapat ang ana tong watchfulness, ha? Okay? Amen ba? Amen. So, how to be spiritually vigilant okay, without being paran paranoid? 
Kaliso tag spelling paranoid, fearful na lang. No. Without being fearful. Okay? So as we mature bang God in our walk in the Lord, no makalert you ta about the importance of being spiritually alert. Kay ang kalibutan always will tempt us, no? Nga mahadlok jud ta, no? So being vigilant without fear. Na man koy sige watch, nya mahadlok na hinuon ka every day of your life. Mahadlok na hinon ka. Okay? So, this is crucial for our mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. So, ang paranoid daw, ang meaning is to be extremely fearful. Wala na gani, kung yun, no? Maski wala na yung mga rason, no? So, and it's also characterized by suspiciousness. Okay? But vigilant means to clearly to be alertly watchful, especially to avoid danger. You see, God wants us, okay, to be vigilant. Why? Ayaw niya, okay? Para ma-avoid natin ang danger, ma-avoid natin ang distraction because He loves us deeply, okay? So where many people read the word, no? And uh, may mga lista no, of do's and don'ts. For those who understand the heart of God, we know He simply wants to protect us. So, ito ang sabi. Choose faith over fear. Natatakot na ba tayo ngayon? Okay, sa mga naririnig natin ng mga rumors of wars and wars, sa mga earthquake, Okay? Because our adversary operates in fear. Ang domain niya, yan, pahadlukon ta, niya. Okay? Anong sabi ng Bible? Cast all your cares upon Him. Why? Because God cares for you. He does, wa- he does not want you to be fearful. Okay? He wants you to know that He cares for you. Amen ba? And Psalms 52 55.22, ang sabi, cast your burdens in the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Ang sabi ni Brittany Bradshaw, sabi niya, my fears perpetuated the what-ifs of my situation which drove me into a cycle of unhealthy patterns of thinking. Di ba? Maparanoid na lagi ka. Okay? We, of which only I was only able to break free through prayer and fasting. You see, di ba, nagpa-pass tayo? Nagpe-pray tayo? Di ba? So choose faith over fear. Cast it out. Do not fear. Okay? Alam nyo ba that do not fear was mentioned 365 times in the Bible? Alam nyo ba yan? Okay? So that's a reminder from God. To live every day fearless. Amen? Amen. So how should Christians be alert and not afraid? Okay, di ba? It's very easy na, no? Just to crouch in fear. Na mahadlok lang dahil ka. So, ang atong, isahay, ang atong kahadlok, no? Every day na ato nga battle. Di ba? Sometimes ang mga parents, no? Because of their prodigal children. Yung mga anak natin, dili na manguli og balay. Nahimo nag mga tunog. No, nana na sa sa kalya, di ba? Napakarami yan. Actually, those ch- children, may mga bahay yan. Ayaw lang umuwi. Okay? Ano pa ba ang mga fears natin, no? Financial, no? Sabi nito, financial crunch. Di ba ang sabi? May nagsabi, ang mga Judith. Okay? Pag-abot sa Judith, di ba? Judith sa atong mga kurente. Judith sa atong tubig. Dagkang kayong mga bayro nun. Di ba? Mga, sometimes, mag, magyaw-yaw ang atong mga mga mama because of that. No? We wrestle. No? Not wanting to fear, but yet we do. 
But God, in His goodness, shows us the way to be alert and not to be afraid. Amen? So the one who made us and holds our future in His hands does not give us the spirit of fear. Okay? For God gave us the spirit of fear. Not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. It assures us and it pours out power, love, and sound, sound mind instead. So yan po ang diferensya because we have a good father. Ang sabi ng uh, James 4.8, draw near to God and He will draw near to you. So mga igsuon, kung may, may problema, kahadlok, no? kasakit, daghan kaayo, tag, mga experiences lain-lain, pagduol sa ginoo, dili magpalayo hinoon. Mindset ba? Mindset. Okay? Muna'y atong himoon. Stay alert and be watchful. So, una, on how, no? ang pangutana is stay alert through prayer. Basic lang jod kaayo. Di remind na po ta nga magampo lang yun. Okay, these aren't new sa ato nga mga Christians. Kinsay nagaampo. Amen, di ba? Murag hinay man. Okay. No, pangutana sa ato ani tanan, how's our prayer life? Do you talk no with God? Unya Dili lang ta talk sa Ginoo, maminaw pud ta. Di ba? Amen ba? So vital tool no of staying alert. But sometimes ang iyon dire is it's sometimes easier to fret than to pray. Ang iyon sa Matthew 24:42, therefore keep watch because you do not know on what day the Lord will come. Dili jud ta kabalo, but we are just keeping watch. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Habang nagahulata, di ba ganina? No? Habang nagahulata, I will worship, I will just pray, I will just serve you, Lord, which have, while we keep watch. Okay? So, be vigilant. Be vigilant. No? It is easy to just grow lax, no? O negligent lang takayo. Di ba sometimes, na ay mga family outings, o nag-relax na ta, di na mo atog church. Ganong Sunday man good food, no? ang mga family outing. Kinsa yung mga disciple nga wala dere. <laughs> di ba? No, mag-celebrate ta. So with family, sa usual, of course, hindi natin ano yung family natin din. Hindi natin kali, kalimutan. But to be vigilant, no? Attentive ta to guard no, over our souls. No? Okay? Pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulation that are imminent and to stand before the Son of Man. Because alone, alone sa atong kaugalingon lang, we are just so weak. But we can do all things. No? So that is why prayer is so important. Okay? So places, prayer places us in the right relationship to God, the source of grace and life and strength. Amen? Amen. So when praying, we do not have to worry. No, about, di ba, kung sahay, gusto na ito, mga eloquent words, mga laglum jud ka ayo, nga di na kita mismo kasabot. No? Kana lang unsa mag sa atong heart. No? Let, let God know our needs. Let God know our petitions. Talk and then also listen. We can leave those concerns, okay? At the altar of God and He will hear us. And be not anxious. Ang sabi ng Bible, napaka maraming warnings para sa atin. Be not anxious but in everything by prayer and petition and thanksgiving. Let your request, let your prayers be known. And to God. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord Jan. Okay? And number two, stay alert through worship. Worship. Basic na po. 
Di ba, sige lang tayo, worship. We worship God. Kanina, we, we have the praise and worship. Okay? So, ang sabi niya dito, it doesn't seem like to be a vigilant tool. No? Of watchfulness or vigilance. But, it is. No? Because it's the awe of His creation when we worship God. No? So, sometimes, napakas, maka, ano na lang tayo sa worship natin. Pag ano natin sa, no? Napunta tayo sa isang church. Diba? Uh, sabi natin, oh, the worship is great. Uh, gusto na po kumubalik next week. Okay? Diba? Ganyan sometimes, ang mga ano natin, pag pumunta tayo sa mga church, kuminsan, opposite din ang, ang reaction natin. Uh, I like going there, but I don't like the worship. Bakit kaya? No? Hindi niya gusto yung mga, baka hindi niya gusto yung mga music. Okay? Sometimes kasi, ang worship natin, may pang, no, according to age. But you know, wala yan sa age pag nag-worship tayo kay Lord. Kung ano po ang mensahe ng worship. Because worship, okay, it's really just coming from our heart. Okay? So, the scripture is clear about what worship is. It extends much deeper than songs that we sing. Worship is an intimate expression of gratitude for the mercies of God that He has given us. And singing is just one aspect of how we worship. Okay? So true worship happens when we live a life of sacrifice. So, ang gagawin natin, that worship should be a lifestyle. Ibig sabihin, we worship with our lives. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng lifestyle? No? The typical way of life. Yun ang nakasanayan. No? Yun talaga ang ginagawa natin. Yan ang lifestyle. Di ba? Merong lifestyle na ano ngayon? Lifestyle na herbs. Merong Meron ding herbal life. <laughs> Kasi gusto natin we have a lifestyle of healthy. Maging healthy tayo. Di ba? So ganyan din ang ating spiritual life. No, especially while waiting for God. Healthy ang ating spiritual life. No? So ang sabi ni Paul, no? He had a strong grasp grasp of what is what it meant to worship nung sinabi niya sa Romans 12 anong sabi niya therefore brothers and sisters in view of the mercies of God I urge you to present your bodies a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to God so we sacrifice our lives to God no sacrificing is setting time no aside no Setting aside moments to reach out to those we care about is also an expression of our worship. Meron kang mga kakilala mo na wala pa kay Lord, puntahan mo. Okay? That's a sacrifice and it's a kind of, it's a kind of worship to God. Okay? So nagbigay ka. No, hindi ka lang naawa. Nagbigay ka. It is your sacrifice. It's your kind of of worship to, to God. Amen ba? Amen. So we are called to live a lifestyle of worship. Okay? Not setting apart portions of our week for worship, but instead in a constant state of worship, knowing that every moment can be an act of service to God. So what does it look like to worship with our lives? So first, we worship in spirit and in truth. Okay? Ang sabi niya, alam na natin, it's very familiar in John 4, 23. Okay? That the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the spirit in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So worshiping spirit and truth means that we are led by the spirit and grounded 
in the truth of the scriptures. The truth of the scriptures. Napakarami po kasi ngayon. Hindi na po ang Bible ang source ng kanilang worship. Ang sabi, do not be conformed okay, to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So worship should first be with internal transformation. And it is the Holy Spirit is the one who changes us. Okay? By the power of the Holy Spirit, okay, transformation, we experience transformation in our minds and our desires and our actions. So second, our worship should be holy and set apart. Okay? I choose to be holy. Okay? I choose to be set apart. So as Jesus followers, how we serve, how we give, how we love, they are all expressions of our worship. Amen ba? So sometimes like, you know, we are distracted no? by the ways of the world and we lose sight of our true worship. Okay? Sometimes na entertainment na lang tayo. Okay? Imbis na mag-worship, di ba? Na ano na lang tayo, sige, scroll, no? Netflix, lahat-lahat. And then, na-devote na natin na all our times to mindless consumption. Na wala na ang worship natin kay Lord. So, Paul, Paul, Apostle Paul, reminds us today not to be confirmed to the patterns of this age. And finally, worship is to be pleasing to God. Reminders lang ni mga igsoon. Daghang kay mga klase nga mga worship that's not pleasing to God. He wants us to offer our joys, our struggles, our successes, and hardships to Him. We please Him as we move away from self-centeredness to God-centeredness worship. Amen? Amen. Romans 12 too, so that you may discern what is good and pleasing and perfect will of God. So we should, the will of God for us is for have a lifestyle of worship. So it is the declaration that in the midst of all our happiness, of all what that is happening in our world today, the powerful weapon against any lie that says God is not in control or that He is not able is worship. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord. Merong sinabi dito ako, why do religions have different gods but the same Satan? Na ano nyo rin ba yan? Di ba? Ang CCFI, meron tayong Diyos. And thank the Lord kasi siya ang tunay na Diyos na sineserve natin. But marami rin, so-called Christians, no? iba ang Diyos nila. Okay? Ang Diyos nila, usahay makatulog, usahay mahulog. <laughs> Diyos ba na? Pero, ayun din eh, different gods, but the same Satan. Okay, no? Nung na, na Nung nabasa ko ang post na ito, you see, si Satan talaga, count, ano siya eh, master talaga siya ng counterfeit eh. Lies and deceit. Ang gusto kasi ng Panginoon, you will have only me as your God. Okay? Pero anong nangyari? No? Gumawa siya ng maraming gods. Okay, ganyan. Di ba siya sabi ng Lord, and worship me alone. Pero siya, he maintained and secured his position as the only Satan. Baka walang gustong maging pareha sa iha. Pero dagay gusto nga mapareha sa ginoo. No? Kaya iisa lang siya. Okay, but you know what? 
No? One thing is sure. That the true God that we serve, He is the sovereign God. He is the God who is in control. And He is the God who is the same and the God for all eternity. At alam niyo si Satan? It's also his future is the same. He is doomed for eternity. Yan po ang kamatuuran. Kaya ang gusto ni Satan, maraming dagan Diyos, Diyos sa imong kinabuhi. Aron mawala ka sa tinuod ni mga worship sa imong kinabuhi. That's why napakamaraming tao ngayon, napakaraming souls na nawala sa tunay na Panginoon because napakarama naming mga Diyos-Diyosan ngayon. Okay? Ang si Satan gusto niya, doon ka rin. But tayo, we are here, okay, worshiping this true God. And sabihin mo kay Satan, kasi di ba, ganito si Satan eh. He keeps reminding us of our past. But remind him, of His future. He will be doomed for eternity. Palakpakan natin kasi we have a God, a sovereign God. So as believers, when we worship, we fix our eyes on God. So as we worship in a community, di ba, like this, in our church, we are reminded that our great God is in full control. We are living in the last days. We should be more alert. We should be more watchful. We should have a lifestyle of worship. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord. And then last, you stay alert by reading the Bible. <laughs> Basic gihapon. Alam niyo na yung meaning ng Bible, di ba? Alam natin? Sinong nakaalala pa? Okay? It is the basic instruction before leaving earth. So basic instruction before leaving earth. Kasi na gusto mo mabasa? Huwag Biblia. Oh, ang di gusto mo mabasa, basi gusto ninyo leaving earth, inyong gusto. <laughs> ha? So that's the basic instruction before leaving earth. Okay? So all scriptures inspired by God, balik-balik lang yun nato ni, and is useful for teaching the truth, rebuking error, correct, correcting pronunciations, uh, false the eye, and giving instruction for right living. Ganyan, yan po ang Bible natin. Alam niyo ba yan? Okay? So if we miss God's basic instruction, we are in danger of what? Falling away from faith. Diba binasa natin kanina? Okay? But the Spirit said expressly that in the latter times, some shall fall away from faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. Pag hindi po tayo nagbasa ng word ni Lord, Di ba? Pagbasa na ito, nakatulog na yun ta, pagkaugma, naagya po ng Bible sa itong tubangan, yun lang din kag-amen. Di ba? So, anong sinabi dito? Okay? Para hindi tayo masidus. No? Mga, mga seducing spirits, no? The doctrines of demons. I don't know, hindi ako sure kung si Paul Washer ba yung narinig ko ang sabi niya. Any doctrine, any principle, any law, any teaching that is placed beside the gospel or given more emphasis than the gospel, no matter how harmless, how harmless it may be in itself, immediately turns to be a doctrine of demons. Alam niyo ba, sata lang masyado ang mga mga maraming mga preachers ngayon. 
hindi natin alam, no? Na wala na pala yung emphasis. Okay? Sa tunay na mensahe, no? Of the need of man. Ano ba ang need of man? His need of, ano? Of forgiveness. And his need of repentance. And his need of God. Na wala na yun eh. Yung mga hindi na na-emphasize ngayon. Mayroong nagsasabi, 99% of people are not bad people. Is that true? Di ba? Ano ang sabi ng Bible? All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Pero karamihan ngayon, wala na yan. So hindi na natin alam ang tunay na need when, when we, ano, kung nakikinig tayo sometimes ng mga preachers na, especially on TV. Ang sabihin sa iyo, oh, it is in you, nasa iyo na yan, that you are good, that you're, that you're capable and you are, ano pa ba? Ano mga magandang mga adjectives? And you are beautiful and you are, hmm, tanang you are. Di ba? Hindi na nakita yung tunay na need natin, ang need natin. Kaya nga, namatay si Lord sa krus. Yan po ang tunay dapat na gospel. So any, okay, any preaching na, na hindi ina-emphasize talaga ang gospel. Ang sabi niya dito, napaka ano no? Turns to be a doctrine of demons. Kaya be alert. Kaya maraming no? Na ang sabi dito, falling away. Nawawala na sa tunay. No? The teaching. Falling away. Hindi ah. Ang sinasabi natin to falling away. Hindi na fall kaagad. No? Na fall sa mga seducing. Okay? Doctrines. Okay? Ito ibang ibang falling away to hindi na do not misinterpret this no doon sa mga millennials natin nakakita lang no o ano sabi niya sa pangalan mo pa lang no nakilig na ako lalo na og parehas na tag apelyido na fall dayon di ba pero pwede po din, no? Para dili ka ma-fall, oh, ma-fall away sa tinuod, no? Nga doktrina. Dapat, ang pili ni mo ka nang naapod kay Lord. ba? Diba? Isa pa na sa reason. I heard, no? Bago lang. No? Kababata daw niya. And then, uh, distant kasi namin. Hindi na raw sa tinuod nga teaching naga naga ano karon naga simba and that's falling away okay so kayo tayong lahat may sinabi ako dito piliin mo yung taong dalhin ka sa paglilingkod hindi yung isama ka sa pagtalikod di ba kasi subtle ang kaaway natin ngayon. Hindi mo alam, you are now falling away from the true faith. But the God of the Bible leads us differently. He will never allow us, His children, to walk along the path of deception and destruction. Amen ba? Amen. So be on alert. Okay? Ang Bible natin, no? do have the multitude of verses na mag-combat to the spirit that will make us obey spirits that tell lies and follow the teachings of demons. Meron ba tayong dalang Bible ngayon? May Bible tayong dala? Holy Bible? Okay, sabi na, ano, tinuro, ang cellphone. So that's holy cellphone. 
Andiyan na kasi sa mga applications natin. So palakpakan natin si Lord sa word niya ngayon. So the key to spiritual vigilance is spiritual watchfulness and spiritual alertness. Okay? So these are the last days. So tayo, mga Christians, tayo, mga believers, dapat malaman natin kung sino talaga tayo. Our true identity in Christ para hindi tayo mawala. We are always, the word today has reminded us for us not to fall away from the true gospel. But she, ang sabi ni Lord, marami. Gusto niya, tinawag tayo niya ng marami. No? We, sabi niya, you are the salt of the earth. Okay? You are a salt of the earth, a city on a hill. And then, we are the righteousness of God. Yan ang tawag ni Lord sa atin. And the word tells us, no, so much more pa, marami pa. We are kings. We are priests. Our lives are hidden in Christ Jesus, who is the Prince of Peace. So we must believe no? kung sino tayo, ano ang tawag ni Lord sa atin. Alam natin dapat our identity kung ano tayo kay Kristo. We will be in the perfect position to be spiritually vigilant because we will know who truly our Father is. And we know that. Tayong lahat dito ngayon. Okay? So it is very possible for us to be spiritually watchful, spiritually prayerful, spiritually vigilant when we know who we are in Christ and we have the friendship of the Holy Spirit. So my friends, your authority natin, bakit natin ang ginagawa nating lahat dito in these last days that our authority is from Christ. So we cast down and rebuke anything you know, that speaks contrary sa gusto ni Lord sa atin, sa gustong ipagawa ni Lord sa atin. When you know we are in Christ, we will not miss the purpose and the good intentions God has for us, especially in this mga uh, delikado ang sinasabi. Okay? In these last days, delikado kung hindi tayo maging alert, kung hindi tayo watchful. We should always keep watch, always be on alert, and we will make our prayer, we will make our worship, our reading of God's Word, a lifestyle. Kung saan pa ikinabuhi yun nato, Knowing that God is victor over everything that we could face. So the promise, the Lord promises to keep us in perfect peace when our eyes is fixed on Him. He is faithful to His promise. Spiritual vigilance is my portion. Spiritual vigilance is your portion. It is our portion, my friends, my dear brothers in Christ. So, walk in it. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Live your purpose. Do your purpose. Do the vision. Like every day is the last. Palakpakan uli natin si Lord. Can I now speak to our new friends? Can you just stand? Mga new friends natin. Can you just stand? Sa, dyan, sa taas, meron ba? Sa taas, meron. 
kayo dito. Oy, ito. Ayan. Praise the Lord. Palakpakan natin. Meron ito sa taas. Okay. Doon. Dito. Ayan. Ayan. Palakpakan natin. Dito ha. Okay. Dito sa gitna. Oy, mas marami dito. Mas malakas na palakpak. Di ba? And one here. Okay. So, praise God. Nandito kayo ngayon. Okay. You have heard God's word. And He also wanted you to be watchful. No gusto ni Lord, may baluta nga these are the last days. Ug magbantay kita. We will be vigilant of what's happening sa atong kalibutan karon. Okay? And that's because ang mga signs duol na lang jud kayo that he is coming back. Di ba ang atong ang tong song ganina? He is coming back again. He is coming back again. So karon, no? Naamo din he because you have also known okay that god is coming back og timely lang jud ning ani amo karon kay aron maapil ta no when he when he comes back to us his people dawato lang nato si lord as personal savior and lord and god sa atong kinabuhi i will just lead you in this very simple and short prayer nga dawato nato siya okay So magpray ta sunda ko ninyo ano nga makadungog ang imong tapad kusga gyud okay i confess nato sa ato mga baba nga dawato nato si Lord Lord salamat o oh God sa imong mga reminders that you are coming back and you want us Lord to be watchful to be, you want us O oh God to be alert And Lord, gusto nimo ng ang among mga pag-ampo o among worship o ang among pagbasa sa ibong pulong mahimo yun ng among lifestyle, O God. Karon Lord, salamat, O God, kay akong nasahiran usab nga ikaw ang Diyos O among manduluwas na ikaw ang mubalik pag-usab. Dawato na ako ikaw, Lord Jesus, karon na personal na manluluwas sa akong kinabuhi. Salamat kay ikaw na hinumduman ni mo ako kinoo karon right this very moment. You will now be my Lord. You will now be my God. Thank you for the salvation that you have given me. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Palakpakan nato si Lord for those who have just received Him as the Lord and Savior. Can I just pray for you? Lord, thank you, Father, for these souls, O oh God, that have heard you word, O oh God. Father, gidawat kanila right this moment, O oh God. And thank you for the salvation that's only in you alone, Father. Father, we pray na magpadayon sila, Lord, sa ilang kinabuhi, O oh God, nga ana ikaw, kauban nila for as long as they live. Lord, we continue to pray for them, O oh Lord. We thank you for those who have in, uh, invited them, Lord, in this worship today. Thank you, Father, for what you have done in our hearts, in the hearts of your people. In Jesus' name, and all of God's people will say, Amen and Amen. Palakpakan natin ang napakalakas, Lord. God bless us all. Kapon sa tanan. Kinsay nalipay. Amen. Hallelujah. Kinsay andam mo hatag. Amen. Palakpakan na to si Lord. Hallelujah.
Bago ko magsugod, ako dahi si, una sa tanan ako dahi si Remark under sa Libor's Network under ni Tatay Ed. Salamat sa Safe Family na hatagan ko opportunity about sa kamayo ni Lord sa akong kinabuhi. O pagdasig sa matagusa na kinahanglan pitpul ta sa pag-alagad kay Lord. O pag hat paghatag sa atong tights and offering. Glory to God. Akong verse makita sa Jeremiah 29.11. Nagingon siya na, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, declares the Lord. Pla- plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and future. Ani ako rin din himo testify sa kamayo sa ginoo sa akong kinabuhi. Sa 2020, sa nagbuntis sa akong asawa sa ikatulo na mong anak, nasaira na mo sa, sa ultrasound nga naa sa hydrocephalus kanang naitubig sa iyang ulo. Dili pwede, nor, dili pwede normal ang delivery. ang advice sa doktor. Kinahanglan ICS siya. No? Maka kuhan tao kay CS, dako dyo kay gasto. Pero glory to God, pagkahuman niya kay CS, nabinla lang may 21 ang, ang hospital bell. Glory to God. Pandemic pag yun siya. Then ang among kwarta, 9,000 lang. Pero nagpasalamat niya kung ko sa gino, kay safety, akong asawa, bisan sa iyang pag CS. Maong napugos ko sa napugos ko nga ibaligyan ako akong motor aron makabayad ko sa makabayad ko sa sa ospital aron siya makagawas. Glory to God nakag, nakagawas sa dakong tabang sa Ginoo. Sa pag-abot sa doha kabulan gikan sa pag-CS naka decision mi nga magadto mig Davao sa SPMC kay amo siyang paoperahan ang among anak nga ay hydrocephalus. Bisan wala mi kwarta, nagtuo ko nga i-provide ni Lord ang ang among gikinahanglan. Bisan ang SPMC ato COVID facilities. Pero ako pasalamat sa Ginoo kay safety mi nga padulong dito. Hallelujah. Gi-explain sa doktor sa mua dito, dili pwede operahan ang among anak. Kay 5 to 10% lang ang iyang utok. Sakit manunawon pero nagapasalamat gyapon ko sa Ginoo. Kay dako kayo ang chance nga mamatay siya. Bisan man maoperahan daw ang bata, dili gyud madugay. Ang iyang lifespan 1 to 2 years lang gyud. Dito murag akong asawa, murag Kana ko Lord, unsa ang angay namong pagabuhaton? Ang iyang plano ni Lord nga wala jud ko ni give up. Naga sige gyapon ko pray nga nasa ibuhaton sa among kinabuhi. Mao tong naka decision mi nga among gi-give up ang operasyon kay mao man gihapon basig mama kuan pa sa dito kanang mamatay pa ang among bata. Bisan sa ing ana nga among sitwasyon wala gyud ko naluya sa pag-alagad sa atong buhi nga Dios. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Kaya sa iyang first birthday, amo siyang gipadedicate diha kay Lord sa dakong tabang sa Safe Family. Nalampasan, nalampasan sa among anak ang taning or sa kwan pa ang iyang two years lang tama, nalampasan yang taning hantod two years lang. no Kaya katong May 17, 2023, nag three years old na siya. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wala na may ga-expect na madugay pa siya pero nagapasalamat gihapon ko sa Ginoo. Kaya ang among trials nagligon sa among pagto diha kaniya sa dagang siyag pabor nga gihatag sa akong pamilya. Glory to God. First nga gihatag og pabor ni Lord sa akong sa kuwa. Una nga yang gihatag nga pabor ni Lord bisan dagang kay trials nga wajud ko ni give up. Nagamotor ko ko sa pinaagi sa among kampanya dra sa Beldex untok. Nagkasila og motor, gipangalan sa kuwa, nakales pa siya og 
10%, nag-monthly na lang ko og 700 ang bulan. Glory to God. Ang ikaduhang pabor ni Lord sa kuha, gitagaan ko niya mga disciple. Gitagaan ko niya disciple, naka-encounter ko ba, naka-happiness group. Bisan, duha na lang ang nabilin. Malipayon niya hapon ko kay Lord. Hallelujah. Ang ikatulong nga pabor nga gihatag ni Lord. Dati usara ko ka helper sa akong gitrabahuan. Rogig promote ko ni Lord nga gihimo na ko niyang driver sa truck. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Grabe pabor si Lord. Ang ikakaupat nga pabor ni Lord sa akong kinabuhi. Nakapahimo na kong sarili na ako nga balay bisag wala. Wala pa na human gi-provide jud ni Lord ang mga materials. Glory to God. Mapit na gid mahuman. Maayo gyud ay ang plano ni Lord sa tagsa-tagsa nato ka kinabuhi bisan busa pabilin lang ta nga pitbull igsoon hallelujah glory to God dalay gyud ang Dios Atong itaas ang atong envelopes ug magambot ha Dalay gyud ka o Dios nga labing gamhanan salamat sa imong pulong nga nag maayo nga plano sa matag usa ka namo Daghang salamat sa panalangin nga moabot amo kining gisimba pinaagi sa, sa among halad diha kanimo gamiti kani sa pagpalambo sa imong gingharian akong ginaampo nga mah- akong ginaampo nga mahuman ang among church building pinaagi sa pagkamahatagon sa tanan glory to God ang tanang himaya pagday among gidabalik diha kanimo Sa langit ng amahan, sa ngalan ni Jesus, nga among manluluwas o ginoo. Amen o amen. Good day everyone and welcome to Christian Church Fellowship International. Welcome especially to our new friends today. Stay tuned for our announcements. Our Sunday service celebration is every 2 p.m. here at the Word for Everyone Ministries and the recorded service will be posted in our YouTube channel in the evening on the same day. We are inviting our new friends to join one of our life groups and start up your new life with Jesus. You can ask the person who invited you for more details. To our parents out there, we encourage you to permit your kids to join our weekly happiness group every Friday online. It is important to pray and it's fun praying together. Join us in our dawn prayer meeting every Saturday, 5 in the morning. And let's build up our prayer life together. We have our YouTube channel where we upload weekly in case you miss our Sunday service and other videos. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and share our videos. Also, visit our official Facebook account for updates and other announcements. This church is about celebrating Jesus and celebrating the life He gave us. Have a blessed birthday to everyone celebrating life this week. Happy birthday! If you find it more convenient to give your tithes and offering online, posted on the screen is our account numbers for BPI, GCash, and Paymaya. Happy giving! We are excited to inform everyone that we have started and are on the road to building our own church facility. Here are some pictures of the progress of the construction. We still have a long way to go. And if you find in your heart to help with the building, here's our BPI account number, GCash or PayMaya number flashed on screen. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching and, and God, God bless, bless us all. all. Let's make this song our prayer and declaration that while being vigilant, we will worship and we will serve our God with all of our hearts, with all of our strengths. Amen. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on you, Lord. And I am hopeful I'm 
I'm waiting on you, Lord, though it is painful, but patiently I will Raise your hands. Let's be in the receiving mode. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you and be 
gracious to you. The Lord turned his face toward you and give you peace. We sing Amen. And has learned something through God's word ah, today. Amen. It is our prayer and desire that we all grow more in wisdom and ah, in love amen. and also change as we listen to God's word. If you do have questions and clarifications, feel free to message us through our FB page and we will respond to you as promptly as we can. We believe that people need the Lord, so don't forget amen. to share this video to your loved ones and your neighbors. And don't forget 
to subscribe to our channel and give that bell a tap for notifications and new videos. God, God bless, bless you and see you on our next video. video.